Hello everyone, Sons of Luck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on plantable flower pots. A mod that simply adds the ability for you to grow flowers in flower pots and cut them with shears when they bloom. So we'll just try our pots to do different flowers. As you can see, I've got a cornflower one in here. Um, I have noticed that larger ones don't work, so two block high ones. We'll try also some tall grass. And some other things like the crimson and so on, which I don't think actually count for this. Uh, sea pickles don't. The sprouts don't fit. Coral doesn't, as well as burns, I assume. Yep, so I'll just try a bunch of stuff and see what happens, because I am not actually too familiar with what can even fit in a flower pot. So I'm going to try, at least besides the obvious small ones, at least. So the big ones can't at all, saplings are not affected at all, they sort of just stay in there, they don't grow I don't think. Let's get some bone meal just in case. Uh, let's see, mushrooms, I don't think they've changed at all, or the fungus. Um, let's see, the so pig. Alright, so we've got those and those. Alright, can you move things? That'd be great. Go to the side and you'd see obviously that there's now sort of the roots or otherwise in there. So just move these along and we'll test with some bone mealing and see if you can actually grow them with bone meal or they have to be um, grown manually or not. But I haven't tested that yet and I had just enough. Cool. Alright, so let's see. Oop, that didn't seem to work. That just seemed to remove them. Alright, so that's good to know. So we can't grow larger mushrooms in here. Putting them shift clicking. Let's also then remove them. Yep, seems to be the case for those. Try with the cornflower. We can see there's those two there stages. So we've got the first stage, second stage, third stage, and fourth stage. And obviously we can right click motion to snorkel. No, you've got to break it to get it out. Okay. So we've got this in survival then. And we don't have any mobs around, so that's fine. Just go with an alley in here. Do one, two, three, and four. And then break it, and then we've got it, and then we can reuse that. Okay, so that's how you have to go about getting them once they're harvested, it seems. You can't just do the other where it's already um, done, of course. Um, or not affected by this at all. But uh, yeah, you can easily grow these with bone meal. We'll try with the dispenser, because I don't know if you can use dispensers for bone mealing at all. Can you? No, you can still that, do that with like big player right click sort of stuff. I don't know if you can do that with dispensers. You can bone meal. Okay, good to know. The Wither Rose is not affected by this. Okay. So you can't grow a wither rose, but you can a bunch of the others. Alright. So just take this back and we'll just go to the dispenser again. We'll get our lever, and we'll get our bone meal, we'll do this and this, and we can bone meal it every so often. So there we go. Um, but yeah, that seems to be it. Um, you can bone meal in a dispenser if you want, or by hand. They do manually grow, of course, which the cornflower obviously did a fair amount of a good job. Um, even when it was night time, surprisingly, they do actually grow during night, so that's good to know. Um, you do have to break them once they're done, though. You can't obviously just, you know, right-click and get it out and then have it place the new one in at all, and each time you replace them, it will pretty much just be that you're, um, setting a new seed, basically, that's in there, sort of. Um, and that's about it, as far as I can tell. Um, I don't think there's much else to it than that. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. And we'll check uh, configs, but I don't think there's any. Uh, nope. And... And let's see... Nope. Seems to be it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.